This is Wrangell Narrows. It's this 22 mile twisting, winding channel with like 65 or 70 buoys and markers in it. Very challenging navigation in the night or the fog. Uh, the cruise ships don't go through here because it's too narrow. You know, the big Alaska State ferries go through and, and literally hundreds and thousands of fishing boats. So back in fish buying days, uh, we would arrive at the south end at, you know, dusk usually, you know, foggy evening and they usually didn't leave, need our fish till the next day, so we would anchor up for the night. And we would, as we're laying there having supper on the anchor, we could hear boats in the narrows, you know, with their fog horns blowing, and we could hear them talk on the radio. And then they would emerge from the fog, you know, wrapped in fog really uh, mysteriously. Well, one night we got a radio call. Hey, Emily Jane. Uh, we need your fish right now. We can't wait till tomorrow morning. And I mean, it was thick, thick fog. I mean, I did not want to go through there, but hey, you know, we're paid to do that. So um, off we went. Well, today boats have what's called a GPS plotter. Okay, it's this uh, chart that, you know, appears on your, you know, a display in your boat and it shows your boat's position on a moving chart. So you see all the buoys and markers. It's, it's a wonderful aid to navigation, but you know, this was 1982 or something, and all we had was radar and, and the chart. So you go through, and my wife, Mary Lou, she's next to me with a pencil, and each time we pass one of these 72 markers, she checks it off so we keep track of where we are. And, and, and you know, sometimes you don't even see the markers go by because the fog is so thick. So we're picking our way through, you know, with a high level of anxiety in the, in the pilot house when there's this radio call, uh, you know, Alaska State Ferry, Matanuska at, uh, you know, southbound at mile at uh, marker 42, northbound traffic, uh, you know, please advise. And I could sense some anxiety in this captain's voice on the Alaska State Ferry because the tide was running hard and he's a 400 foot boat, you know, winding through these narrow channels. Well, we're gonna cross in like the narrowest spot of the whole channel of the whole narrow. So, I call him back, uh, you know, Mount Nuska, Emily Jane, I'm uh, here at uh, Marker 22. And he says, well, you better pull over and let me by. And I, again, I can tell he was a little anxious. So we start sliding to the right and I don't want to go too far because, you know, we could run up on a, on a mud bank there. So meanwhile, he's getting closer and closer and I see his target the blob that is this big ferry slowly moving down towards the radar screen towards us and the problem with those radars back then is that a target on lowest range would disappear into the middle of the screen on a foggy night before you would see it so he's approaching me and i'm off to the side of the channel and it's this inky black night and all i've got is my radar and seeing him approaching and it was, you know, a fairly anxious moment as we're waiting for him to appear. And the tide's running hard, so he's having a, a bit of a hard time, you know, controlling the boat. Then here's this row of lighted portholes basically appearing out of the black. It seemed like right above us, right next to us, and I could look into one of these portholes. And here was this gal in there, you know, putting makeup on her face, totally oblivious to the drama that was going by outside. And I mean, then they were gone. And I mean, and you know, we made it into town eventually, but I'm sure glad that it was him that night on the bridge of that Alaska State Ferry instead of me.